everyone, it's me, Vicki. Welcome. Today we're going to do something a little different. I have a very short class planned, and this is the perfect yoga stretch for before you go outside on a nice summer day to do your activity, such as running, golfing, biking, tennis, or whatever you do. You can also use it for indoor activity uh, as well. So this is very short. We're gonna stretch all the muscle groups that we can and let's start in mountain pose. And we'll start by just dimming the eyes for a moment and taking five breaths. Come into your whole body right now. See how you feel. Notice how strong you are standing here in the mountain, nice and tall with the crown of your head reaching to the sky. Pelvic girdle strong, holding the upper and lower halves of the body together. Straight, long spine. I am flexible today. Let's make that our mantra. One more breath. I am flexible today. On your next inhale, let's float the arms to the sky for extended mountain pose. Fingertips to the sky, arms drawn down to the shoulder sockets. Inhale here and take a very small little side bend over here to the left in a half moon shape. Good, let's come back to center. Inhale there, and exhale to the opposite side, half moon shape. Inhale back to center. Lift your heart just a little bit more. This time take a tiny little lift, tiny little back bend, and back to center. Let's do that again. Inhale here, extended mountain. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center. And then lift the heart up. Good. Let's exhale, hands to the heart. Very nice. I am flexible today. I'm going to come over to the short side of my mat here. And on our next breath, drop the arms. Inhale up. And exhale, take a nice swan dive down, hinging from your hips to forward fold. Just take a moment, settle in for a moment. Legs are long, breathing. Let the head feel a little bit loose. Now let's move a little bit here. Inhale, halfway up, find flat back, hands on chins. Gaze long, exhale back to your forward fold. Again, inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, back to your forward fold. Good, and one more inhale. Exhale, back to forward fold, beautiful. Can we shift the weight a little bit more towards the balls of the feet, see how that feels? Just a little bit more, getting deeper into the hamstring, beautiful. Now, one at a time, let's step each knee back till we make a tabletop posture with our body. So we're on hands and knees here. Mm -hmm. Good. Keeping the shoulders over the wrists and the knees underneath the hips. Let's inhale, little cow pose, drop the belly. Exhale, draw the belly up, cat back. Inhale to cow again. Exhale to your cat back. Let's keep this going a couple more. Inhale. Just let your spine move, right? I am flexible today. One more. And exhale to your cat back. Good, let's come back to neutral spine, picking the right hand up, placing it on our right hip, rolling the right shoulder back, twist it out. Now, a little flow here, let's exhale that 
right hand palm up gently underneath the left armpit. Now a little thread the needle flow back to your twist. To the right. Exhale, little thread the needle, just bringing that arm under that armpit. Back up again. Exhale, thread the needle, maybe getting a little lower. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Now, if you'd like to, depending on your flexibility in your body, you could drop into that right shoulder, placing it on the ground. Maybe the side of the head on the ground. Two breaths. Mm -hmm. Good. Back up to center. Back to our table. Very nice. Let's try the other side, left hand to hip, inhale, twist it out, exhale, thread the needle, little flow, inhale, back up again, exhale, little effort here now in that right arm, shoulder, stay with it, All right, exhale, inhale again, twist, this time right into your thread the needle, exhale, pause. Breathe, dropping your left shoulder if you'd like to. Twisting it out, pausing two breaths. Coming back to center, a little effort there, good. Let's sway the hips now side to side, side to side. Getting some mobility into the hip joints here, preparing for your activity, whatever that activity might be for you. Checking in with the hips, back to center, slowly tuck your toes, shift your weight back, find downward facing dog as you lift the knees. Readjust your hands if needed. Moving the legs around as you need to. Many of you will want to pedal the legs as if you're riding a bike. That may feel nice for you. Moving around wider or narrower as you need to. At some point, you might be able to come to stillness in this. Whenever that point is for you, draw your heels down strongly to the ground. Lift the hips up at the same time as if you're trying to reach the sky with your hips. Feel that long stretch in your calf muscles, Achilles tendons, and hamstrings. Breathe. I am flexible today. Let's lift the right leg to three-legged dog. Now this doesn't have to be high. It's just a stretch. Keep the hips square. There's no twisting here. Right? Now those that want to try, bend the right knee and simply open it, almost like a little fire hydrant shape where that, that right hip, over time, might be stacking over top of the left hip. You're just making a little space there. Little effort with the shoulders, hang on. Back to your three-legged dog, and exhale that leg down. Good, now inhale, right, left leg up. Three-legged dog. Again, it doesn't have to be high as long as the hips are square. Bend the knee if you'd like to fan open. Use that little fire hydrant shape. And over time, stacking left hip over right hip. Mm -hmm. So as if you're gazing underneath that armpit. Good. This is a great stretch. Back to center, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that leg down. One more breath in down dog. Heels are coming down. Hips are lifting up. And slowly, slowly bring the knees down to the ground underneath the hips. Let's walk the arms and hands out long for little puppy shape. Again, stretching through the shoulders. One more breath. I am flexible today. Let's drop the elbows and forearms. Allow yourself to slide the chest and heart through for Sphinx Pose. You may want to inch your legs long behind you. If this is too high in your chest, lower your chest down, closer to the earth. One more breath. Feeling your hips on the ground now. 
Let's lower the torso, slide the hands next to the chest, keeping the hips on the ground, lifting the torso up if you can. Inhale to cobra. Good, exhale back down. We'll flow this a little bit. Inhale to cobra. Notice your back extension. Exhale back down. One more. Inhale, cobra. Exhale back down. Good. Now on this next one, we'll inhale to cobra and exhale to child pose. So drawing yourself all the way back with the tight belly towards your spine. All the way back, hips to heels, or as close as you can. Just breathe right here. Notice the nice stretch through your lower back. I want to mention with this video, this is also a great video to do after your activity. So it can be done before or after your activity. Mm -hmm. Option one, stay here. Option two, for some, to walk the hands back towards the knees and find hero's pose, hands to heart, so your tailbone is down between the heels. Stretching through your quad muscles. Big group of four muscles in the front of each thigh. Good. So let's meet the rest back in child pose. One more breath. I am flexible today. Dropping one hip to the side, let's find a seat to bring ourselves around. We're actually coming around onto our back. So make a little room for yourself. You may have to move up on your mat just a little bit. Roll yourself back carefully and bring the knees into the chest just for a moment for a little stretch there. Good, now let's drop the right foot to the ground and find a pigeon shape with the left ankle over that right thigh. Today we're going to leave our arms down on the ground. Ground your shoulders, ground your hands, ground your elbows. Option one to stay here. Keep drawing that left knee forward. Option two, use your core muscles to pick the right leg up and L-shape that leg. Drawing this up, pigeon shape closer to your chest. Using the muscles in the, in the belly, using the muscles in the low back. Giving yourself more sensation in the stretch, if you'd like. One more breath. Now slowly let's bring that right foot to the ground. Let's open the arms to a T. Take your time, we'll tip our pigeon over to the right. Just as if someone just pushed your legs over there, but they're still in the same shape. Just do what you can. Your left big toe might be grazing earth or perhaps your whole foot is down on the ground. Still working that left knee forward. Breathe another breath here. Good, now when you feel ready, slowly release your left leg, stack the knees up into a little twist here. Option one is to stay here. Option two for some, take your left arm and just reach that left ankle or foot and pull that leg back a little bit. If you're doing that, notice how you can work that left knee towards the ground. And for a couple of you that may feel nice through that left hip as an additional little extra stretch. One more breath. Very nice. If you have the left leg pulled back, slide it on back to stack with your 
opposite leg. And slowly we'll bring everything back to center. Good. Let's keep our spine nice and neutral as we set up the other side. So arms to our sides, shoulders down, left foot on the ground, right leg makes the pigeon ankle on your left thigh. Working that right knee forward. Mm -hmm. If this is enough for you, stay here. Simply breathe. Option for some, use your core muscles to lift your left leg up. Little L-shaped left leg. And draw that, draw that right knee continually towards uh, forward. Your forward. Mm -hmm. Let's take another breath and we'll start to float the arms to a T. Now let's drop this left foot down. We're keeping our pigeon shape on your next exhale as if someone tipped your legs over to the, to the side. Just drop that pigeon down. Now you just notice where that, that right foot ends up. It might just be the tippy right toe on the ground, or it might be the whole foot. Keeping the right knee drawing forward. Take two breaths here. I am flexible today. Right. Now slowly, slowly release that top leg. Stack the knees. Just melt here, a few breaths. Option one to stay here. Of course, option two, your right hand can reach and grab that right ankle or foot. And if you want to, just slide it along the ground and pull it back and towards your right shoulder a little bit. If that feels good for your body, draw your right knee towards the ground. Just another variation of that pigeon. Let's take another breath here, whatever you're doing. Good, now slowly slide the legs back together again. And on your next breath, draw the belly in and bring the legs back to center. So again, neutralize your spine, no twisting here, feet are flat. Let's bring the arms back down to our sides. And when you feel that really good connection, feet to ground, let's lift the hips up for bridge pose. Draw your shoulders down and just breathe. Maybe take three breaths here in and out of your nose. Preparing for your activity or stretching from your activity, depending on if you're before or after. Last one. Exhale down. Beautiful. Now, one by one, let's bring these knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. We are not doing the Shavasana here because some of you are going out for your activity. So instead, any way that you can, we'll find a seat. You might just want to roll up if you'd like and place your legs just in a little easy seat position. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, take a nice deep breath and let yourself just melt forward. Arms out. Let the heart lead you forward. Just melt here in your easy seat. Three breaths. Relax, relax into your hips. One more. Walking the hands back and bringing them right into your heart center. Enjoy your activities today. I am flexible today. Thank you. Namaste.